Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to see a difference between how a switch behaves, a layer to switch, and how a router behaves or what is the significance of having a router instead of a switch. So this video is basically uh, to show this difference by using uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. So this was a request by one of the subscribers. So I decided to make a short video on this uh, so let's take a switch first of all so i'll take a switch an l2 switch and uh, let's take the end devices as uh, pc0 and pc1 so uh so guys let's connect them so this is pc and this is a switch so we will need a uh, straight cable connecting to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 of the switch and connecting PC 1 to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 of the switch. Now you can see that this ports will are not at green, so it will take some time to come up green. So let's wait for some time. So, guys, uh, both the ports are up now. Now what I'll do is I'll give some IP address uh, to this. Let's say 10.1.1.1. Uh, and uh, it's a slash 24 will be the subnet marks. And I'll give an IP address of let's say the same subnet. So 10.1.1.2 slash 24. Uh, so how to give the IP address to this PCs? Click on this PC, go to the desktop. Under desktop, you'll find an option of IP configuration. Go in that. Here, you'll find the interface that is fast Ethernet 0 of this particular PC. Give the IP address. So, what IP address you have to give is 10.1.1.1. And the subnet marks is slash 24 255.255.255.0. So, slash 24 means the first. 24 bits will be our network ID. There are three octets will be our network ID and the remaining one octet will represent the host ID. So this is our IP address what we have given. We can verify it by going into this command prompt and giving command IP config. You can see the IP address is configured and the subnet marks is also configured. So quickly do it for PC1 also. Go to desktop, IP config, and we want to give the IP 10.1.1.2. Subnet marks again, 255.255.255.0. Come on, prompt. IP config, just to verify it. So you can see, this is 10.1.1.2 with the subnet marks. 255.255.255.0 that is slash 24. Now let's ping PC0 from PC1. So ping 10.1.1.1. So as you can see, we are able to ping it. That means using a switch, using a layer to switch, we can we can ping PC uh, one or PC PC0 from PC1 and vice versa also we can ping. So it means that a switch helps it helps in communicating these two PCs which are in the same network. Now we will change it. Now what we'll do is we will change the IP address on PC1. We will make it in some different segment. Let's say here it was 10. So let's say we'll make it as 20. Okay. So We'll make it as 20.1.1.1. We'll make it fine. So I'll go in this PC1. I'll go in this IP config and I have to change it to 20.1.1.1. I'm giving the subnet marks as the same. Now we will check the IP config. Now the IP address is changed to 20.1.1.1. So 
I will now ping PC0 which is 10.1.1.1 Now guys you can see the ping is not working that means that means a switch cannot help these two PCs to communicate with each other when they are in the different subnet then who can help so the one who can help is a router because router is a layer 3 device and which will help two PCs to communicate between different networks because the interfaces the interfaces of the router belongs to different networks we can configure the networks on the interface of the routers which we cannot do in the case of the switch so what I'll do is I'll click on the switch and I'll delete the switch okay and let's introduce our router I'll go into the network device I'll take any of the router and let's use auto connection this time between connecting this to PCs to the router so you can see the ports are down here because on this outlet to go and go and no perform no shut on these ports so I'll open this router and I'll go in the CLI and I'll do yeah no I don't know I don't want to get into any configuration initial configuration so the interface what I have is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, firstly I'll make it up once I do no shut you can see the port comes up and I have to configure some IP address into this now currently the IP address here is 10.1.1.1 so I have to configure in the same network because this link is going to belong to the same network so let's say I'll configure here an IP address of 10.1.1.2 that's fine slash 24 and here also I'll configure let's say 20.1.1.2 slash 24 now let me quickly do it so IP address 10.1.1.2 followed by the subnet marks 255.255.255 zero now what is the another interface the other interface is gig 001 gig 001 if you uh, hit this up arrow you will get the above command so it will save your time so no shut the interface is up again the IP address also you can take the same command the only thing we have to change here is instead of 10 we have to go 20 so this up arrow command guys it will save you a lot of time a makes it change it if you want you can save the configuration so the configuration is saved it basically saves the configuration running configuration into the startup configuration of the router now now I'll go into this PC okay so I'm into this PC fine so now here in the PC we'll go and we'll check whether we are able to ping it or not now from PC this PC1 we are trying to ping PC0 but still we are not able to ping so we are trying to ping it from PC1 to PC0 but we are not able to ping why because because this is our end host okay so this end host need to know if you want to communicate outside the network it should know what is a default gateway it should have something known as default gateway if you want to communicate outside the network now it have to communicate outside the network so it needs a default gateway what will the default gateway the interface the IP address of the interface of the router to which it is getting connected so here it is 20.1.1.2 so I go into the IP config and here you have the option of default interface so it is 20.1.1.2 so I give it a 20.1.1.2 okay similarly on the other side also we have to do it so I'll do it quickly over here also 
here also on PC zero. I'll go here and give the default get it ten dot one dot one dot two. Now let's ping it here. So oh, I am on PC one now. IP config you can check it is twenty dot one dot one dot one. You can see the default gateway is also 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 got configured. Now let's ping. Here also you can use a parallel ping ten dot one dot one dot one. So the first packet is dropped, but now the packets are we are getting the ping response. So guys, in this way, uh, you know you can see that the communication. If you wanted to uh, have communication for the host in the different subnets, you will need a L three device, a router which will help to communicate between two different subnet. So guys, that's it. This was a short video on the request. And uh, if you have such a request, you can um, uh, let me know on email or uh, you can post in the comment section. I'll try to come up with more such videos. For now, I'll stop here. I'll catch up in the next video. Till then, bye. Thanks and have a nice day. Thank you.